Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Bajan and this is my account SoCal Expeditions. Right behind me, I have my 2018 Ram 2500, which has been a build that I've been working on for quite some time now. And recently I put on a set of Alpha Rex 5th gen style headlights, as you can see. These are the Lux series and I saw no videos on YouTube covering these headlights. So I figured I would make one since I've had them installed for some time now and tell you guys what I think about them. Stay tuned and keep on watching to see more on these Alpha Rex headlights. First thing that I want to talk about and note on these Alpha X headlights is the output. These things have built in LED chips and they do provide a good amount of light as you can see with the overlay of this nighttime driving clip. And I think that this is perfect for a headlight, especially at the price point that it is. There is no other headlight that's going to come close to this output with a built in LED chip that you don't need to do anything to other than install and being plug and play than these Alpha X headlights. The beam pattern on these things is also really crisp and clear. There's going to be a crisp and clear cutoff line and that's going to be able to be adjusted vertically. However, I saw no horizontal adjustment. So if you want to move the beam left and right, you're going to be having to do so by pushing the headlight either in or out when going to mount it. And let me tell you, you're not going to be able to find too much adjustment when it comes to moving it horizontally, only vertically. Coming from having a Morimoto D2S retrofit my Tacoma headlights, I'm going to say that these are not nearly as bright as HIDs are, but they're really good for the price. So around that $850, $870 mark for a pair of these headlights, this is the best median range and medium range price that you're going to find on headlights like this that come with built-in LEDs that you don't have to install LED bulbs or HID bulbs in, and they're just going to be plug and play. So for the price, this Lux series is really good when it comes to output, as well as the cutoff line, and I have no complaints whatsoever when it comes to that. The next thing to talk about is fitment on these headlights, and this is where I'm going to say they are severely lacking in terms of fitment quality. It seems like the headlight is about 1 16th too small, and especially when it comes to the bottom next to the headlight filler piece. I found it really difficult for me to be able to gap this out evenly the whole way across without having to adjust the headlight filler piece. And if I adjust the headlight filler piece, that means that everything else is going to be off in terms of alignment. And I will say that the video that I am taking of my headlights is after I've spent around 45 minutes adjusting them and making them look the best that I can. In the beginning, they definitely didn't look this good. And it spent a lot of time adjusting that vertical alignment piece that comes on the ram that you can move the headlight up and down on one side to make sure that the beam is straight. I spent a lot of time adjusting that to get these headlights to look how they do. So out of the box, it was not even close to like this. When it comes to installing these headlights, it is virtually plug and play. The only wiring that you're going to have to do is using the supplied daytime running light wiring harness to run that to the headlights themselves. You're going to want to use fuse F as in Frank 66. You're going to want to tap into that fuse and then run the wiring harness to the headlights on both sides individually and then just plug them in. This seriously takes maybe five minutes at most and that way you're going to have your daytime running light harnesses that can be switched on. Another thing to note is that the daytime running lights can be changed from this clear color to amber. If you want an amber daytime running light which is going to activate these two lights as amber as well as this bottom row as amber as well full time all the time then you can do that 
I had the ambers switched on in the beginning and then I disconnected it because I felt like it made the headlight look a little bit cheap as well as really big because you're gonna have three rows of lights. By having the clear lights on and just these two running lights, I felt like it made the headlight a lot smaller, if that makes sense to you. In terms of quality of these headlights, I'm gonna give them an eight out of 10. I think that they're actually gonna last pretty long compared to all these other Chinese manufacturers that are building headlights like this and I don't really see too many problems that are, you're gonna have with them. There is gonna be a warranty on the LEDs themselves since they're built in, so you're not gonna to have to worry about the headlights for too long because there is a warranty on them. No matter if you're using the left or right turn signal or the hazards, your sequentials are gonna come on and the sequentials will always be amber. There is no option to have clear sequential running lights. Instead, there will always be this color and they will utilize all three of the headlight LED strips that are available. So I think the sequentials look really cool and compared to something like a Morimoto, which are gonna be my next set of headlights that I'm gonna try out, these look a lot cooler and I gotta say that. So props to Alpha Rex for coming out with this design as well as the sequentials that are just light up the entire headlight. So after running these headlights on the truck for over a month, I only have good things to say about them. Other than the fitment, which I can't complain about too much since they are aftermarket headlights. I will say that the LED output is awesome. The cutoff line is crisp. They work every single time that I want them to. The startup and close down sequence are awesome to watch and show your friends. And I just have nothing bad to say about them other than the fitment. The sequentials are super cool as well and no other headlight on the market is gonna have the same kind of sequentials as this one does with the three strips getting lit up. So. With the ability to have clear or amber daytime running lights at the price point that these headlights are, I think that this Alpha Rex 5th Gen Style Lux Series headlight is one of the best options for us Ram owners because the LEDs work and I just, I just don't see another headlight at this price point that can do what this one can. That being said, for my personal truck, I don't love them. And I'm gonna be switching them out for a set of Morimoto's because these look good to me but they're just not clean enough. And I don't know if that makes sense to you, but it makes sense to me. I think that the Morimoto's look better for my truck. However, they're another $750, $800. So keep that in mind. That's just my personal opinion. However, for this price, again, I will re-emphasize, you will not find a better priced LED headlight that's so easy to plug and play. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope bringing this fifth gen style headlight to YouTube for you guys to look at will maybe sell you on a pair of them or you'll maybe see what i'm saying and maybe order a different pair so it's up to you i just wanted to bring this video for you guys to be able to see if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button and feel free to subscribe as well i'll be doing a full rig walk around because you can see a new snorkel intercooler guard baja designs and there's a lot more coming Thank you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Hey, what's up? Really quickly, I noticed while I'm editing this video that there's a couple times where I'm hitting the lock and unlock button, and it's doing this weird stutter of the lights where it's not exactly equal on both sides, I'm gonna say, or when the hazards are on and the high beams are on, it does like this double flash on one side, and then it switches to the other side and does the double flash. I'm not too sure if that's programmed to do that, or maybe sometimes the headlight just messes up. So not 100% sure what's up. I'm gonna reach out to Alpharex and see what they say, but I texted two buddies and they both confirmed on their Tacomas that their headlights do the same thing. So it might just be an Alpharex kind of thing. Not exactly too sure. Just wanted to share my findings while I was editing this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure to hit the thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe if you wanna stick around. God bless you guys and I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to keep on camping.